Hi, I'm Danny, and I'm currently tour manager on a show that's playing in theatres across the UK. Come and take a look behind the scenes and also meet some of my band and crew. We're in Birmingham for three nights and we have three sold out shows. Band has just arrived, they're just gonna sound check in about 30 minutes. We're really looking forward to these three nights. In our hometown, it's a hometown for most of the bands. This is the room I've got today. And when I don't have a office, I take a dressing room and it's me, Monique and some of the other team all work in this space here. But it's always awkward because we're there just looking at mirrors <laughs> when we work. <laughs> Who's here now? Sean. Did you find out what happened? Look at this camera just dropping. Up. <laughs> the show is on, I can hear everything, but um, you can hear our saxophonist there doing a quick sound check. guys, I'm Daniel, the lead singer of Rush. Uh, looking forward to the show at the Rec. <laughs> See you soon. You got to go? Yeah, let's go, iron up. Iron up in <laughs> three, two, one. Because we didn't have to pack down yesterday or set up today, it's nice for the crew just to come in a bit later and have some rest because you will be not and the band have some rest full house yesterday it was honestly so nice to look at we got another full house today i think with it being a home show it's nice to know we've got that support but this is american like how does what is this we were also shown this which is a hot box apparently you can hang clothes up on this like on the hanger or drape it over and it's for more delicate clothes. Something wardrobe departments will probably know about, but I've never seen one. Hello, my name's Pete. I am one third of the Brass Tings. We have a brass <laughs> section for Rush. I play the trombone and I'm the one that's made all the arrangements. Hi, I'm Adrian. I'm trumpet player for the show, also member of the Brass Tings. Let's have a look at these t-shirts. Let's see yeah. them properly. Nice. Uh, designed by Annie, the sax player. Oh, I'm going to go find Annie. And we, we do have a new design coming in. <laughs> 2022, watch this space. Okay. And they've got their instruments here in their cases. They always take them home, don't you? Between yeah. shows. Yeah. Hi, I'm Annie. I play saxophone, so I'm the third member of the brass section. And they said you designed the t-shirts, or something? Oh, and I designed the t-shirts. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we got Abel with us this weekend doing some behind the scenes and doing interviews with the crowd. We, 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 we love um, interviews and on the scene, <laughs> Abel slash table, one, two, three. Sorry, just, just delete that. I don't know what to say. Hey, okay, you're good. Really close to show time on the second day here in Birmingham. One thing I didn't mention on my last video, if you watched my last video where we was in Liverpool, is that I also deal with guest lists. Now this is a home show for us, so we have a lot more guests that come. Why is that noise? <laughs> we have a lot more guests that come. So all the band give me their names. And it's just another thing that I have to manage. And we provide them with a guest pass. It's kind of like a souvenir more so um and they can take it home and be like hey i was a guest Do 
you remember last time when I said I don't eat until really late in the day? Still haven't eaten. The show started. I've been out. Uh, we I go out and I make sure the show gets started. All the things I need to do at the beginning of the show, I run and do that. But theaters always give a show report at the end and they say, okay, they started at this time. Da -da 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 -da. But I like to keep my own just to keep a track on things as well. So I do that. So that's why I need to keep a watch on the show. But I like to come back to the office, to my laptop, do what I need to do, check some emails. If I need to do things for tomorrow, because we've got three nights here, I thought, let me do some things for tomorrow. Uh, so I am going to do that as well. And if you're wondering what this jacket is, because I feel like I've changed, I haven't just done loads of wardrobe <laughs> changes. We have a tour jacket, or the band have one of these, and it has um, the logo on, on there. I kind of look like some kind of varsity sports team type thing i don't even know if varsity is the right word we just look like some kind of sports team we also have i have another jacket let me show you this like rain mackie one for when we're loading them this is so nice i had it in manchester and i'm so excited that it's in birmingham they gave me a free piece of cake they must know that i love cake <laughs> All of this is vegan. This is a vegan halloumi. This sauce is nice. First thing for this morning, sort out the VIP passes from early. My niece says she knows the way. So far, we're not getting there. <laughs> Are we coming from the different side? No, this is the way that um, Zoe took us the other day. We're here. Uh, mine isn't like yours, mine. Oh no. I thought I'd explain something really, really quickly because when I first learned this, it was super helpful. <laughs> it was super helpful. So, you might hear people talk about stage left and right. Now, I'm really bad with my left and right anyway. But imagine it like this. It's the left and right for the people on the stage. So, that's our stage left. That's our stage right, and I'm currently looking out at the audience, which is probably obvious. And that might be useful for you if you do an artist liaison or something like that. And you hear on the radio, this is a phone, that's not a radio. You hear on the radio, you need to come to stage left or right, or you hear crews talk about that. Where I am now, this is downstage, and at the back of the stage is upstage. I think that comes from old theatres when the stage was on a gradient, so it would go up. You get it upstage <laughs> so you've got up and it's because when you've got the seats on a level you can kind of see people better when it does that but don't worry people aren't tumbling down the stage it's just a slight gradient so let's look at some other things what we've done here for this show we have lighting for the whole band and then we have lighting over by the lectern for a single speaker what we've done we've taped the stage to make sure that speaker stays in his light so for him when he's on stage right of this marking he's going to be lit and he can engage with the crowd and not have horrible half-facing shadow, <laughs> half-facing light when we don't want that to when he steps over the line. So spiking the stage is a really good technique to make sure performers stay in the light that they need to stay yeah, in. Yeah, we're literally call putting tape on the floor, spiking, spiking the stage. Spiking the yeah. stage, that's what we call that. It's what? really useful to make sure props end up exactly in the position that they need to be in, especially mid-show when things come are coming up, come on, up. coming off. So we've got um, little bits of tape so we know yeah, where... That's so we can know where that drum goes. Yeah, there's without coming well. on and like wandering around. Ah, yeah. oh, these mics. These mics come on halfway through the show. So we've got tiny bits of tape here. And then let's look at some other stuff real quick. So, ah, oh, so let's go over a few more. Oh, I'm probably really loud now because this mic's on. So we've got stage left, stage right. Then we're centre stage here. And this is our brass section. Our like centre up stage kind of situation because they're towards the back. And then we have a choir come in. They're pretty much centrist, David. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They're pretty centrist. 
as our narrator is over to right main singers is downstage our dj is stage left and most of my band come on stage left these are risers we use these so that the people in the back can be seen a little bit yes. this is amphitheater style so they don't need to be high in the sky you don't want them too high because they'll block this massive screen we tape cables down so that people don't fall pitch and fall these are called monitors they're literally just so that people can hear themselves a lot of times you hear people talk about ears that's when the mix is in their ears directly this is where people wait at the side of the stage what we call them wings <laughs> These devices people use. Yeah, so they're literally. Just the same as the monitor, but instead of monitor, instead of speaker, you just headphones. Yeah. And that's all. So each individual musician can <laughs> hear their own. They can hear what they want to yeah. hear. Have you ever seen the curtain that comes down and it comes right in the front of the stage? It's called the iron, it's like a safety curtain. You probably can't see it up there, but it comes down slowly. <laughs> Where has that been all my life? <laughs> I feel like I always have a bit of a gaffer tape. A bracelet going on. I like Chunky Jovi though. Okay, Dread, DJ, backing vocals, ready for the show. We're gonna have a blast tonight. Hey, I'm John Simmons, I'm the narrator of the show. You got me. I'm Wayne. I'm the drummer for the uh, Jamaican Joyous Journey. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the right way around? I'm Matthew, I'm the keyboard player. Hello there. Goodbye. <laughs> I am Janice, I'm one of the vocalists. Lead vocals with Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, I'm Ruthie, I'm percussionist and backing vocals. And I love this top, this top is nice. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> started the second half it's time to pack that <laughs> I like to get started with packing before the show is over. There's so much to do when the band come off. I like to just get a little bit ahead, but also we need to be out of the venue by a certain time. So it's always good to get as much done as early as possible. The show is definitely still happening. You probably can hear it, but I'm gonna drop some stuff to my car and I'm going the wrong way. Definitely going the wrong way. <laughs> 